Hello my lovelies, so this is Lizzie from Love From Lizzie and today I'm bringing you the March 24 Love From Lizzie card kit. This kit's super exciting, it's a little bit different to what we usually do but I'm really hopeful um, and the responses that I've received to the sneak peeks over on Instagram this month have been really positive so fingers crossed you're all going to be really happy. Just a little update from LFL HQ, we're doing really well, we're up to speed largely all orders are out everything seems to be running smoothly so <laughs> fingers crossed it remains as such and we've got a few emails to get back to but largely we're doing really well um we are starting to feel some spring here finally which is amazing but anyway you guys are here regarding the kit so i'm just going to quickly let you know that if you're a subscriber to the kit then um, you have up until 9 a.m. G Greenwich Mean Time, so English time, on the 26th of February. So you've got a week from today. You've got it's next Monday morning. Um, that's when we're going to be cutting off and we'll be shipping orders out from Friday the 1st and then again from the Monday the 4th. Um, but we will do our utmost to have everything prepared so that we can get as many out on the 1st as humanly possible. Anywho... The kit this month is called Vintage Escapes. There are two bags. Um, quite a few of these bits will have been sneaked over on Instagram, so you may recognize some of them. But as always, I'm gonna start off with the A4 bag, just to give you um, a nice overview of what you're going to get. And cardstock wise, um, I have got five sheets of eight and a half by 11, which is American and Canadian letter size cardstock, so that it splits in half to create A2 card bases. And you've got this really lovely craft. You've got white, which is alcohol marker friendly and really good for ink blending, like super, super smooth. Also hot foiling works really well on this. Then you've got a nice dark brown. We have black. And then we have this really lovely creamy maisy color so five colors that are all super neutral they're more shades than they are proper colors um just to allow everything else to pop off but you also have an a4 sheet of rose gold mirror um and as i often show you a4 is very slightly longer this is our standard size in the uk slightly longer but slightly narrower and you so you do actually get the same amount of cardstock um, included it's just that it's in a different format so I'm going to leave that popped out ever so slightly there because otherwise my camera will be jumping trying to focus on it so next up we have the peel offs and we have brown mirror straight in gold finish which is brand new to us so I'm really excited to see how that's going to work on all of the uh, lovely projects that we see. These have been sneaked. Now, these are brilliant. They are 3D glitter strips and they are fully encased. They're self-adhesive, so they just pull up and they snip really nice and easily. But they're, you know, they're firm, as it were. And I'm going to see if I can hopefully show you how domed they are because they have got real sort of like 3D uh, properties, shall we say, to them. They're, they're, they're really nice and domed, but the glitter is completely encased. So if you like to give cards to someone who likes the look of glitter, but doesn't actually enjoy the risk of any shedding, there is, I will guarantee 100%, there is no way any of that will shed because it's completely sealed in. Next up, we have got some stickers and these are great fun to design to be honest so um, there's three different sized stamps and you get four repeats of them and then there's three of like the airmark you know that you'd pop that the uh, the post office would stamp over the top of your stamp and they are rose gold finish and they're on a clear sticker so you can peel them up they're all die cut perfectly inside and outside of the frame. So I'm hoping that shows you there. And they're nested within one another. So we've, I've got the maximum stickers on there that I could get. 
and you've got four in the larger size, four in the medium and four in the little and they're going to work really nicely with the pattern papers, I hope so. I'll pop those there for now. Next up we have got the patterned paper. So this is lovely, this is specialty papers this month. So they are six by six and you get 16 sheets of them and some of them have got this specialty to them and half of them are double sided. So this, the camera won't show I'm afraid, um, but it has got a linen finish to it. Um, but that's all sort of various stamps from around the world. So we'll pop that one there. Here we have some suitcases in these really lovely um, muted vintage tones. And on the reverse side, there's it's like a checked pattern it was tone on tone. Here you've got this map. I'm just trying to see if I can see where it is, if it is somewhere in particular. This says the pool on that river, so I'm not quite sure. It could be completely fictional, but it's really pretty. Again, a tone on tone. And on the reverse side, you've got um, like a sage green with little white triangles decorating there. And here you've got a really nice pinstripe. And on the reverse side, this mottled blue, this is a really lovely soft gray blue with some darker shaded blue polka dots. That one. This is um, like the sort of passport stamps. It says London, Hamburg, Amsterdam, Spain, lots of different spots all on there. And then on the reverse side, there's a very pale blue with a tiny weeny white crisscross pattern on there. Next up, there's some side bicycles over that sort of sage green. On the reverse, you've got hello in lots of different languages. And I do really enjoy the different sort of scripty um, sentiments. I'm going to leave that that way. And then you have, these are almost like airmail stickers stripes um, in, the, in those colours. And on the reverse side, there's lots of really cute vintage ships, sort of like galleon ships um, in a dark navy over that lovely muted blue again. Here you have like a stone colour with some white pinstripes on and on the reverse side it's white with um, grey polka dots. This is beautiful, this is almost like um, text taken out from a dictionary. The different definitions for travel, traveller, traveller's grass, yes so again very pretty, sorry, and the reverse side is some really nice vintage methods of travel and it's on this really um, lovely mauve colour. Here we have a specialty, I'm sure you can see the shine on that. These little plotter points have all got that spot gloss finish over the top. So that is a single sided sheet. Here we have the aeroplanes that have that spot gloss over the top with sort of a distressed background. Um, you can't quite make out what that is, so that one is also single-sided. And here we have some like travel tickets. Um, I don't know all of these codes, but Hong Kong, that's London Heathrow. I know that one quite well. Amsterdam, Sydney, Philadelphia, Delhi. I think BCN might be Barcelona. Not sure, sorry if I've got that wrong. Tokyo, C, D, G, I'm not sure which that one is. And Atlanta and Frankfurt there. Um, but because that's got the spot gloss, that's single sided. And here we have Big Ben, um, the Eiffel Tower and the Statue of Liberty in black over that nice minty green, that's a single sided. We have a portion of the world, of the globe printed in that really lovely, it's almost like a mustardy yellow. But the, all of these tones, as you can see, they're really sort of muted and calm. And then here we have these letters. Um, I think that's all pretty much French for the language that I can make out there, but again, very pretty. And here's another one of these really lovely textured linen finishes, and they are the compass rows from a map. So they are your 16 sheets of patterned paper. Next in the A4 bag, we have an embossing folder. Now this is a six by six embossing folder. So you can, if you want to, pop your whole sheet in 
and then you can choose which section it is you want. I mean, you may well want to have like complete symmetry or, um, but this I thought was really nice and you could possibly even color this one to make it like um, the rose compass on a map. So I thought that was gonna be a really handy embossing folder to have in your stash. We have also got some stamps and um, I wanted to do something that you could just heat emboss and it would be really, really pretty. So these are very detailed, but also something that would be super simple to color. So the suitcase, it's got a few bits and bobs inside, but they are clear lines if you wanted to color them all individually. And here at the bottom, we have this lovely big cityscape. Um, and it's got lots of different buildings. I don't think it's one in particular. It's inspired by lots of beautiful cities that we have around the world. And then there is a bold sentiment saying, wherever you are, and then there is, you are missed, you are loved, I am just a call away, you are thought about, and I am thinking about you. So you can make a really nice um, card for someone that you haven't seen for a while, or that is off traveling, or is, is about to get back. Um, but <clears throat> and now, <laughs> the ephemera this i am super excited to share with you every single piece in this is different so i will try my utmost to run through these as quickly as possible there will be pictures at the end though so if uh, if if you've missed it or you know you're taking a bite of your toast then um not to worry but there are some really pretty icons here so we've got um a nice little shop front we have a suitcase we have some boarding passes. And the difference with this ephemera to my usual ephemera is this is black backed. So all of the icons, instead of being on white, they're on black. And it's because of the muted tones that they're working with, I thought that would sit better. And um, yeah, I hope you like it. I mean, let me know in the comments below if you prefer to have white or if you think the black for this style has worked. Um, you've got the back of a VW bug. We've got some nice holiday pictures. We've got some really traditional cars with that old luggage on top. A camera. We've got a suitcase with books and compasses. This is a, this is like a fun looking case because it's got palm trees behind it and nice Panama hats. I think they're Panama hats. Um, we have another camera, some sunglasses, a stack of vintage luggage. And um, we have a travel journal, some more photographs, a sun hat, lots and lots of pieces. So as you can see, so, and some of them are super heavy travel, others are more like book like, or you've got the globe. And one of the things that I really enjoy about this is um, this is going to be really straightforward for making masculine cards, which is something that I personally don't find very easy. If you're in my Facebook group and you had the joy of catching me live um, making my other half's Valentine's cards on Valentine's Day, you, you'll understand. I mean, the, the poor man, he, he got a heart, he got a big old flowery heart on a card. <laughs> I mean, he was very gracious, but um, but no, these these will lend themselves very nicely towards making birthday cards, greeting cards, or as I say, general travel cards, and it's not gender specific at all because um, they're just more muted tones, but when it's heavily floral, which is what a lot of my kits are, um, it makes it more tricky, but yes. So we're nearly there. So there's lots of different kinds of bags, cases, travel methods. So you've got the bikes, the cars, the planes, you've got a lovely globe, some more suitcases. So these ephemera bits as well, if you're trying to do like a bit of a distressed feel to your cards, you can layer these up. They're all a nice size. They're all between sort of two and a half, an inch and a two and a half inches. So you can put multiples on one card front. Um, but yeah, I mean, I like this, the, uh, the sleeping eye mask with the feathers on it. Another journal, a smaller camera. You've got lovely cruise liner there and another book. So you can see lots of ephemera. Um, and now we're moving into the embellishment bag. So again, quite a few of these items have been sneaked. Um, 
but let's go with the wooden pieces. These are really lovely. We've got um, four wooden arrows, which are all different, ever so slightly. A heart, you've got one with lots of skinny tails, one with different tails, and one that has a solid tail. And then there are nine wooden pieces with, that are all travel related. So the compass rose, the postage stamp frame, a little suitcase, a camera with a little heart in the lens, a hot air balloon, another arrow, and an aeroplane. So they are the nine further pieces that you get to the four arrows. We've also got some cork tags. Now I thought these were really cute because, you know, a little bit like luggage tags. So a piece of ephemera may work on it, but there are two in the heart. There's two in the circle and there's two in the traditional tag shape. Also got some ribbon. You get a meter of each of these lace and they're sort of like an ivory creamy color and they're all just wound around the spool. And I thought because it is quite vintage, lace would, would be really quite a nice addition to go with. We have also got some nice keys. These have got this sort of brassy finish to them. So really um, also super for masculine cards. Great for moving, but there's three different keys. And they've all got um, these sort of areas where you could loop a bit of ribbon or borrow some of the twine from your tag or perhaps even connect it onto one of the tags. That would look really pretty. And then we have a little row of gold gems because we always like to have a little bit of sparkle. Um, we have got six rose gold photo corners. So I've pulled rose gold into this and gold just to sort of give it, give it there's some shine. Um, but these are brilliant because you stick it on to your card and you can just tuck your bits in and then they're loose if you want to remove them. All these also would work with the ephemera pieces. You'd be able to tuck in the corner of the ephemera to hold that on if that's what you wanted to give a go to. And then we have this. Now this is wonderful. It's a distressing tool and it's super small as you can see. So it's really handy to have. And I'm just going to find a piece of card. And all you need to do is line your card into the side and you drag it up and down a little bit. And as you can see, that edge now is just slightly frayed. And the, the more you pull it back and forth, the more it distresses the cardstock or the paper. So it looks really pretty when you're mattering and layering up if you're not wanting to use all of your rose gold to make things pop. So, and that's a really lovely key pee for the kit. And last, but by no means least, we have got the dies. And so here we have four, four sentiments, as it were, well, four names. We have granddad, we have brother, we have dad, and we have son. So I followed the idea that this may be um, convenient for a masculine kit. And then there are these four little icon add-ons as well. And you've got a little car, some specs, a football, and a really cool, fun tash. And here they are all die cut out. I just did this out of our, our rose gold texture cardstock. And as you can see, lovely big clear sentiments that will work really nicely on your cards if you're wanting to make something masculine for a relative. And these are super cute as well just for making little backgrounds, it's the specs. I don't know if it's because I wear glasses, but I absolutely love these. Anyhow, my lovelies, thank you ever so much for sticking with me till the end. The design team kits have been shipped. We have got a lovely guest designer this month as well. We have got Jane, um, and so I'm really excited to see what she's going to make. I'm gonna pop all my pictures in now, and there'll be a couple of little bits for you to enjoy. So until next time, make something beautiful. Bye.